Hello teachers, just Marhain Aldo po sa Gabos. For today, binomial expansion as per request po tayo at ito po ang mga comments. The first one, Hi mom, baka may kalte ka po about binomial expansion. For example, what is the fourth term of 3x minus 2 raised to 5? At ang isa pa, Paano po kapag ang given, for example, is x squared plus 4y raised to 12? Paano i-input? Okay, request granted. We will discuss in more detailed way compared to our previous tutorial kung saan coefficient po yung ginahanap. So let's proceed with problem number one. What is the fourth term in the binomial expansion 3x minus 2y raised to 5? But let us first define kung ano po ang ibig sabihin ng binomial para mas maintindihan po natin. Binomial is an algebraic expression consisting of the sum or difference of two terms. Diba po kapag by meaning dalawa. So we have two terms here and ang operation ay either addition or subtraction. So we can write it as a plus or minus b where a is the first term and b is the second term. Pero binomial expansion po yung nasa problem natin. Therefore, kailangan po natin itong expand. So dapat meron po tayong exponent denoted as n. So, ito po ang ating a plus or minus b raised to n. However, sa ating calculator techniques ay ito po ang ating format or formula. So, this is for Caltech or calculator techniques where n refers to exponent as mentioned earlier. The same din po dito, itong n po dito ay exponent na given sa problem. So, here, 5 po, ganun din po ito, exponent. As for C, combination, x, variable x, a, ang a naman po natin dito ay coefficient of first term. Kung dito po ay first term, pagdating sa ating Caltech ay coefficient na lang. So, sa ating problem, ang first term po natin ay 3x. Ang coefficient niya po ay 3. Therefore, ang coefficient po ay yung number na katabi ng letter. Okay. So, A is coefficient of first term, whereas B is coefficient of second term. Pagdating naman po dito, ano po yung ating coefficient? So, kasi itong negative na to or minus, ito po ang ating subtraction or operation. So, B is equal to 2 for our problem. Okay. Kapag binomial expansion, tatandaan po natin, mode 7 po tayo. So, kunin na po natin ang ating emulator. Ayan. Ang hinahanap po natin dito ay 4 term. Okay. So, mode 7. Ayan. Then, susundan lang po natin ito. Enclosed in parenthesis, n, n is 5 sa ating problem. Then, c, c, c po ay shift divided by 4 combination. Then, x, x is alpha, close parenthesis for x, then close parenthesis. So, we have 5cx to be multiplied by a, our a is 3. The coefficient raised to, so exponent n, n is 5 minus x. Ayan. Then, arrow right para bumaba po yung cursor at hindi na po siya exponent. Then, multiply by b. b is the coefficient of the second term which is 2 raised to x. Okay. Then, close parenthesis. So, na-input na po natin ang format na ito. Next is equal sign. Pagdating po kay start, lagi po itong zero. Tatandaan, laging zero. Sa end naman ay kung ano po yung exponent sa problem. So, we have 5. Okay, so 5 equal sign. Then, pagdating sa step, lagi naman po itong 1. Okay, so dahil 1 na po yung nandito, equal sign na lang po tayo. At maglo-load po ang ating table. 
Start po tayo sa f of x. Ang f of x po ay coefficient. Ayan, puro number. Then, ang x naman, dito sa x column, ito po ay exponent ng second variable. Tandaan, ang x column ay exponent ng second variable. Ito naman po na nasa left side na ito ay ito po yung number of term. Since we are to solve for fourth term, so baba po tayo sa four, fourth term. So ito po yung fourth term. Ang kanyang coefficient ay 720. So x na po si C at D dahil hindi 720. So we have A or B na lang. Then, ano nga po yung sabi natin kanina? Itong x column ay exponent ng second term. So, y cube. Y cube. So, therefore, ang sagot natin ay letter A. Pero, paano po natin mag-check yung x squared? So, dito po muna tayo sa expanded form. Ayan, ang ating expanded form. Pwede po natin gamitin ang Pascal's triangle, pero hindi ko na po yun i-discuss dahil ang ating topic ay calculator techniques. Mahaba po yun, so time-consuming, lalo kapag mataas po ang binigay na exponent. So here is the expanded form of this one. So we have 243x raised to 5 minus 810x raised to 4y plus 1000 80x cubed y squared minus 720x squared y cubed for the fourth term. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the fourth term. Plus 240x y raised to 4 minus, minus 32 y raised to 5. So the answer is letter A. Ito po ay magiging basis natin kung paano natin hahanapin ang exponent ng ating first variable. Dahil yung second variable, yung exponent niya ay nasa table, right? So dito, mapapansin natin na as 4x, which is the first variable, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and eventually 0. x raised to 0 is equal to 1, right? Kaya wala na po siya dyan. So ibig sabihin, ang exponent ng ating first variable ay decreasing. Ayan. Babawasan. Samantalang, ang second variable naman natin, which is y, so dito, y raised to 0 is equal to 1. Kaya wala na po siya. Then, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, kung ang ating first variable ay decreasing, ang ating second variable naman ay increasing. So, paano po natin siya gagawin? Nang wala ng Pascal's triangle. So, ganito po. Ang ating first term as for our x, which is the first variable, di ba po, ito ay kung ano yung andito exponent. So, 5, di ba po, pababa. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2. So, x squared. So, x squared and we have it here. 720 is here. 3, for the exponent of y. So we have now 720 x squared y cubed. So the answer is letter A. So ganun lang po sa pag-sagot kung ano po yung term na hinahanap ng problem. So the process is the same sa paghahanap po ng term and ng kanyang coefficient. So comment number one is now okay. Let's go to problem number two. What is the sixth term in the expansion negative y plus 3x raised to 12? Again, this is our formula or format, then mode 7. Just a recap. For start, it is always 0. For end, it is always n. And for step, it is always 1. Okay. So, kunin na po natin ang ating emulator. Then, sige. Input natin ulit. In close and parenthesis, what is our exponent? It's 12. Then, shift divided by, then, x. Ayan. Di ba madali lang naman? Then, coefficient of the first term. We have negative 1. 
Bakit po negative 1 ay wala namang 1? Kasi sa mathematics, kapag wala pong coefficient na nakikita, automatic 1 po yun. Okay. Then, raise to what is the exponent? We have 12 minus x. Okay. Then, what is the coefficient of the second term? We have 3 raised to x. Ayan. Then close parenthesis. What's next? Equal sign. Start. It is always 0. And ano po yung given na uh, exponent? We have 12. Okay. Then step. It is always 1. So equal sign. Maglulood po ang ating table. We are looking for the sixth term. Okay, sixth term. So, ito yung sixth term natin. At ang ating coefficient ay 192,456. Remember, negative. Negative. So, it's letter C. Let's check. X. X po yung ating second variable. Therefore, it is X raised to 5. So, check. Let's Check for the first variable. Okay, paano nga po ba yun? Mag-start tayo dito sa 1. So, the first term, 12. Then, pababa tayo, right? Decreasing ang kanyang exponent. So, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 6 terms. So, 6 term tayo. Therefore, y raised to 7 and it is correct. So, ganun lang po katali para sa ating binomial expansion and our answer is letter C. Okay. Kayang kaya? Kayang kaya. So, for the last problem, here is the second comment. Paano po kapag ang given for example is x squared plus 4y raised to 12, paano i-input? Okay. So, here is our problem. We have x squared plus 4y raised to 12. And for this problem, numerical coefficient naman tayo. Okay. So, again, our format, mode 7. Okay. So, let's... Okay. So, here, pwede naman natin edit na lang. Or here, oh, it's all... Already 12. So here we have n, which is the exponent. So 12. C, shift, shift divided by, and x. Okay. Then, what is the coefficient of the first term? We have 1. So tatanggalin natin si negative. May bearing po ba yung squared? Wala naman po sa pag-enter natin dito dahil coefficient naman po yung pinag-uusapan natin. Okay? So, 1 pa rin. Then, raise to n. n. n is 12 minus x. Then, what is the coefficient of the second term? We have 4. Okay. So, we have 4. Then, raise to x equal sign. Start is always 0. And is 12. Nagkataong pareho po yung exponent natin. Then, step is 1 equal sign. We are to solve for the numerical coefficient of the fifth term. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The numerical coefficient is 126,720. So, we have 2. So, we have a... Tsaka C, kapag ganito po na dalawa ang kikita natin sa choices na pareho, so we have A or C, right? Here, ang pipiliin po natin ay yung naun nauna lagi. Bakit? Kasi usually sa pagdatype ay copy-paste. So malamang, ito ay hindi napalitan. Kinopyan niya lang po dito. Imposible naman na inuna natin si C, right? So our answer will be letter A. Sa mga ganitong case. Okay. So, ang tanong paano input, ganun pa rin. 1 and 4 as for A and B respectively. So, what if the question is, what is the fifth term? So, dito na po, magvafari ng ating pag 
analyze Okay, what is the fifth term? Kailangan natin dito i-consider ang exponent ng ating variables, right? So, here we have 4 sa ating x column. So, what is the second variable? We have y. So, we have 126,720 y raised to 4. At ang ating x squared, paano po natin siya gagawin? So, fifth term, okay? We have here 12, dahil 12 po ang ating exponent, 11, 10, 9, 8. So, we have 8, 8 po yung kanyang exponent, right? But, our first term is x squared, right? So, ito po ay multiply natin sa so, ano po yung rule? Imumultiply lang po natin ito. So, magiging x raised to 16. Ang ating first variable. So, 126,000. Again, 126,000 x raised to 16. Y raised to 4 is the fifth term of the expansion. So, let's check. Here is the expanded form, pero hindi na po siya inubos kasi sobrang haba. Okay, the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term na hinahanap po natin. So, 126,720x raised to 16 y raised to 4. So, ganun lang po para sa ating binomial expansion. So, this is all. Thank you for watching. Come share so we can help more self-reveal math major. God bless everyone.